I have a large book in front of me labeled The Philosophy Book. It was given to me last Christmas. Page 290 talks about Roland Barthes, who lived from 1915 to 1980. His uh, entry in this book is titled, Language is a Skin. The lover's language trembles with desire. All philosophy, mm, all philosophy about love is addressed towards a particular object of desire. When I write or speak about love, my language rubs against the secret object of my desire. Language affects the other like skin-on-skin -skin contact. Language is a skin. Let's, um, let's write an elegy for a dead world. We've already gone to Byron, which I believe is this world here. Now we're going to go on down to this world. Whoa. And start writing. You guys like writing, right? Write writing? I like write writing. Writing writers. Whatever. Uh, a letter to a loved one. Sounds like a good idea. Your beloved, who you like to hear from, tell them why. It might be a lament or perhaps an expression of joy. The Emperor's Final Decree, when I have fears, eh, I feel in a lovely mood. I'm a, I'm a lover. I love. I'd like to think I love better than the next man. The world is a, and I'm a, hmm, compare and contrast. Let's write a letter to a loved one. Whoa. Triple Atlas, but this is not a dead world. We can clearly see there's some life here. Hey, what's up, dude? Is that his eye or a symbol on his forehead? Well, let's begin. Off he goes. You'd like it here. No, I don't want to write a love letter to Quill 18. Let's write one to Alexia. You'd like it here, Alexia. There are worse places. There are worse places than... Terrible stone tower you grew up in. Unlike the claustrophobic castle you call home. This place breathes. Yeah, sounds good. It's like the sky. It takes your eyes if you birthed it in a dream but not the kind of dream after you eat too much too many olives you'd love the rain Sounds like running through leaves. Just before snowfall. Poetry! I'm a poet, and I know it. P. 
picture this. You're driving home after a day at the office. Your dress was torn on the desk. This game is unique. I've never really come across a game quite like it. Also, there's an awful lot of walking. It's a walking simulator. It's a riding simulator. But is it really a simulation? I could go that way, or I could go further. Where does this lead? I guess this leads down. It's like being on the inside of somebody's chest cavity. Underground, I feel like I'm inside someone's... No, no, no. Inside your chest cavity. The hum like your heartbeat. The soft breath of your lungs. I may have had too much to drink before visiting this world. Huh. It's very quiet. Where will it go? I see metal scaffolding hanging from the ceiling like connective tissue. Oh, it's two S's, right? Two S? One S? I don't know. This needs a spell check. Like connective tissue from your sternum. I don't know why I wrote that, but I did. And I hear... kind rattling... from the structures... beyond my reach. Smells like steak for some reason. You're getting a look into Mike's writing process. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. There's a lot of atmosphere here. You gotta admit, there's a ton of atmosphere here. It's almost knit stories like in its atmosphere esqueness. Where does this put me? Yeah, it puts me to the other side. Okay. Hey, there's tree life here. It's easier to imagine us living here than at your father's place. 
at least there's no leftover pickled herring on these trees like in the sink of your home. Did you never leave? Wow, that's loud. That's real loud. Can you guys even hear me? I don't know. I haven't checked yet. I don't know if there's a way to lower the... Is there a way to lower the... Turn music off? I don't want to turn the music off. I just want to lower it a little bit. Uh-oh. Well, let me turn the gain up on this. See if that doesn't help. Oh, well, that's volume. That's not gain. Do I have this gain up high enough? What? Oh, there's the gain. There we go. I don't know if it, that's probably a bad idea. I'm going to turn that back down. Title. There we go. Resume. Now let's get that out of the way. Usually this this is, you know, quiet and subtle, which is, you know, what it should be. You're supposed to be reflective, I guess. You're supposed to walk through these paintings and feel the world, feel what it means, this sort of cerulean violet. I, I don't even know how that means. It, people who mix up their words and colors must really get a kick out of this game. I'll, I'll give them that. Ah, another underground passage. Let's go down there. Um... I'm pretty sure that's not... What am I looking at? Oh, by... Lord... Foxes... Forever... Eyes... Remember the... Time... We snuck out with squirt guns filled with ice water, then shot the hot light bulbs in the street lights. I recall a satisfying pop. Not that it has anything to do with this lovely place. Another fine entry in my book. It is called, Mike, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. Do you think there's a mobile version of this game? I'm surprised I even found this game. <clears throat> the world was made for dragons. Not fierce. But fantastical. This is a place of fables. And wistful imaginings, much, much like your arms. You would not believe the amount of poon I get. Oh Lord, will it ever stop raining? It's a good thing I got my helmet on though. One of the things I've noticed is um, <clears throat> uh, they've done a lot of work to, I, I don't know, make it feel alive and dead at the same time. Does that make sense? That's certainly what this place feels like. It feels abandoned but lived. Since the lost passion 
Why am I riding like this? I don't know. Hopefully I'm making somebody blush out there. If you are blushing, write it in the comments. I want to know. I don't know why things went all passionate there. I just got lost in the moment, man. Got lost in the moment. Fucking happens. Wow. Wow, that's a good writing prompt. Boom, emotion. But I'm sorry I won't taste that coffee again. Didn't like it. Or you. What, a pl what places I could go on Hatched to you once more as if I returned to childhood wiser and lonelier. They're like weeping stones. I don't think they were carved this way. I think they were just formed this way by the wind and the rain eroding away on these spires jetting out from the ground. Who knows how they got there? I'm sorry we'll never frantically rush to get your clothes back on in the closet uh, in the janitor's closet before your next meeting. It's just like, how does this place even come to be? What parts of it were developed? Look at it! I can't even tell anymore. Even that bright dotted light looks natural. It looks like it should be there. This may sting a bit. Not for you, for me. I don't know what you feel anymore. It's just, ah, it's good, it's so good. It just radiates a kind of sadness and naturalness to it, like the land is weeping. God, the colors. The weeping stones, both natural and designed. You would have loved it here. I would have loved you here. I would have loved more if you hadn't left this. I believe that's pretty much it. Whee! Well, that's morbid. Or is it? 
I think we may have passed on the point where we're not even sure. <laughs> Much of it is meant to be... I think the word is ambiguous? Publish now. Date unknown. By Grimwit. Alexia. Sure, I don't care. Fuck it. Let's see what's what's out there. Acceptance required to publish items. When you publish an item on a Steam Workshop, you first need to agree to the latest version of the Steam. Blah, 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 accept. I don't fucking care. Do whatever you want with the story. I just... Ah, uh, you need to accept the latest, uh, I've, I've done so. I have published it. It is published there. Happy. Ah. Read your own published work? No, read somebody else's work. Yes. Because we're going to do this every time. Alone. By Ponky. You'd like it here. You always love the open fields. There are worse places that I could have crashed. You'd like the cool rain as it made the ruins of the city sparkle. You'd love the monuments left over for no one to enjoy. Picture perfect, you'd say. It's that different from home. Underground, I first saw the gleaming crystals and I thought of your eyes. I see you standing with me, holding my hand. And I hear your soft whispers of amazement. It's easier to imagine us living here than on Omega. Being grounded is better is better than a station. Ah, yeah. You you miss the grass. Oh, the wonders of this place. Nothing I could have imagined could compare to this place, but it would have been better with you. This world was made for us, and yet I'm here all alone. Just as when we first met, I never felt such beauty in my heart. But I'm sorry I won't be home anymore. I'm sorry I couldn't say goodbye. I'm sorry we'll never touch again. I'm sorry our lips will never meet. This may never find you, but I hope you knew I loved you so much. I miss you so much. You'd like it here. By Pon Alone by Ponky. Nah, not gonna comment. Ponky, if you see this video, leave a comment. <laughs> that's, uh, that's another one bites the dust. And, um, yeah. We'll see what happens, uh, next round. As we tackle our final, our final world.